Ladies and gentlemen, gaming has never been better. Over the past few years, this industry has seen more inspiring and creative works of absolute genius than I can count. Games that stretch the very boundaries of our concept of interactive art and encourage us to explore new worlds, new ideas, and entirely new ways to play. So when Keiji Inafune, the mastermind behind Capcom's beloved Mega Man franchise, announced a Kickstarter campaign to launch his own independent creation, free from the restraints of the AAA gaming industry, it was a cause for celebration. Here was a true titan of our art form, freeing himself from any shackles and giving himself unlimited creative potential. And what did he do with it? Ripped off every an idea from Mega Man. Welcome to Mighty Number no. 9, the game that manages to look and feel like a crappy PlayStation 2 era licensed game for a subpar children's cartoon without even needing the subpar children's cartoon. You know, this game, it doesn't even make me cry like an anime fan on prom night. It's worse than that. It makes me cry like an anime fan at the Dragon Ball Evolution premiere. Wow, this voice acting, really inconsistent. Who could let them record anything like this? Wow, this out of control robot is easily the least threatening thing I've ever seen. Seriously, I'd be more scared if I was walking down this path alone because then there's the possibility that something more intimidating could jump out at me. But no, we got this guy. Loki, there's a family guy. Loki, there's a man who positively can do all the things that make us laugh and cry. He's a family guy. Hi, uh, Inafune? Yeah, uh, I'd like to order pizza. A pizza. You guys make pizza, right? I mean, I saw what I think you intended to be explosions in this Mighty Number no. 9 game, and they look pretty yummy, so, uh, yeah, I'll, t I'll take two pepperonis. Seriously, though, I could literally draw a stupid fake screenshot in Microsoft Paint, noting that I am a terrible artist, and it still would be more appealing than the art style of this game. At least my awfulness is cohesive. Whoa, we unlock dashing? What a unique, crazy new feature! No game has ever thought of something so cool and radical! Now I could continue on and give you guys a full 99 things wrong with, you know, as advertised, and pointed out all of the horrendous level design decisions and terrible storytelling techniques, but hey, who, who wants to get the video they expected, right? I mean, I guess you guys will just have to settle for this half-assed job, but hey. It's better than nothing. Hey there, if you enjoyed this video, why not hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and tell everyone about this video. Because I am obviously the only person with a negative opinion on this game. There hasn't been a giant poop storm of controversy around this game. That'd be ridiculous. I'm, I'm the only one, so only show them this video. Yeah, do that. And if you want to keep up with my craziness, check out my Twitter. I rant about video games on there sometimes too. It's pretty cool. So thank you guys for watching. You, you're all lovely people. I think.